This is the Rock Metal Podcast, episode 202, with Classified Frequency. Classified Frequency. What is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. That's Anthony. You just heard of the Black Eye by Classified Frequency, who I've got on the show with me right now. They've got a new EP called Black Eye, which was released on September 25th. And right now I'm being joined by Matt and Matt. That's Matt in stereo. To share some <laughs> share some stories about the music and share more info about the band. So, Matt Squared, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Hi. Right. Great to have you on. Let's go listen back to that track, Black Eye.
right, come back from Black Eye. Definitely a killer track. It's the title track of the EP, correct? Yeah. Cool, cool. What is the story? I mean, it might be self-explanatory, but what's the story or inspiration behind the track? Um, you know, I I uh, I'm a big history geek, and there wasn't really anything that was going on, but it was just kind of like I started noticing a lot of things in the news that I kind of was like. I feel like this has happened before. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think people are really noticing it. So I, I kind of wrote a song about basically like, you know, if you if you don't, you know, remember what happened before, it's doomed to repeat itself. That's pretty much what it was about. Yeah. So I guess if you're not paying attention in the bar and realizing <laughs> that if you had been paying attention 20 minutes ago, you wouldn't be in the situation that you're in. Yeah. I think that's a, I think that's a fair evaluation. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> groovy, groovy. All right, let's go listen to the next track No More Sex. No More Sex. <laughs> Metal Nation, it's John from the Rock Metal Podcast for a real quick break to let you know that Jay over at Metal Mayhem Radio is looking to help you get your band in rotation on his station. So go ahead and hit up Jay at studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. That is studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. Just go ahead and say that the Rock Metal Podcast sent you. He'll get you into rotation on Metal Mayhem Radio. <laughs> Going back for No More Sex. Uh, now, this is actually the first single released off of the EP, correct? Yes. Cool, cool. I'm curious, actually, with the title track being Black Eye and a, and a banging track that it is, what was the decision to make No More Sex the first single? Um, no More Sex was kind of the 
the song that everybody always seemed to gravitate towards. Yeah. Immediately. That's that's the one. That's it's one of those tunes where, you know, you do it in a set, and then afterwards, people in the audience are like, "Oh man, what, was that a was that a cover tune? That one you can like really love that tune. It sounds so familiar." And I, <laughs> like, so, you know, like that happens. Anybody who's ever written music, do you have those moments mm-hmm. where you write a song and then people connect to it, and then because everybody in the world just assumes nobody can do anything, then they're like, oh, well, who wrote that song? Because right. it was too good. So. Exactly. That couldn't have been you guys, but thanks for being the ch- Yeah, that's totally it. It was like, it was one of those moments where when that would happen, you just kind of go, I'm going to take this as a compliment. Yeah, let's just go with that. <laughs> that's cool. But, um, that was definitely the song that is, is the one everybody remembers and everybody kind of knows. Um, the only reason I didn't title the ep that was i don't know i thought black eye was kind of a good like you know let's do this yeah. it's, <laughs> like, it's, a, it's a strong it's, a, it's yeah. definitely a strong song it's intense I, I i love i love both those things but i think that um one of the things about sort of the fun of no more sex is like it just feels it's really up you know it's like it's mm. just a lot of fun to play and people sort of get that same vibe when we play it, you know. So I, 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 I think it was appropriate. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Now, similar question as to Black Eye. What is the story or inspiration behind No More Sex? That's amazingly enough. There's, there's really no personal <laughs> <laughs> anything. It was, it, you know, when I write songs, I, um, I don't really force myself to write. Certain things just kind of pop out. And for whatever reason, I had this guitar riff and the literally the first line of the chorus just popped into my head. And I was like, that's the dumbest. Thing. <laughs> like, why? And I went, all right. And I wrote it down. And that was kind of. <laughs> but it's, it's basically about the, the idea anyways, what it morphed into was I try to think of like kind of like a a really toxic relationship (laughs) that's like they just can't that That would be so unfamiliar for you i don't know why you think i don't know (laughs) um that's just kind of like like uh i wanted it to be kind of sweet which was like you know somebody who who really wants to make their their partner happy but they just really don't like the idea of having intercourse in a public restroom and <laughs> that's so specific though is there no. there's just no story behind that <laughs> just it's just kind of i don't know <laughs> i do love i do love that the chorus includes what could be on the floor too that's like that's my, my favorite part about that song right because we know we sing backups with him on that live and i always get really excited about this because <laughs> i find it so snarky and ridiculous i love that about that song yeah because yeah, i remember reading that in the the bio from high road and i was like that's a very specific situation there <laughs> Right. Uh, I don't know if I'd call that toxic, maybe adventurous, unless the person's right. really like, you're going to do it tonight or else. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, for Rock Metal Nation, who dug the track No More Sex, if you go and go to today's show notes, that's www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. You can go and see the music video for No More Sex, which may or may not depict... The incredibly specific situation, but I'll leave that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that up to you guys to take us through the production of the music video. Oh, uh, that was um, we did that what, February. Yeah, God, I can't it's been yeah. That long. Um, I have a friend who I was in a band with for a long time, a long time, and he started his own uh, video company, and uh, he did. We did a video for a song called "Have a Nice Day" on our last EP, and he did that. And um, we started talking to um, the PR companies and all these things, and they were like, well, you know, it's you got to have a video. So I contacted him, and uh, my, my biggest thing was with the Have a Nice Day video, he made me, like, the main actor, and I hated that. <laughs> I did not like being that guy at all. So I was like, you know, here's the song. What are your ideas? My only caveat is I am not an actor in this. I just want to be performing and figure it out. And so he came up with this um, really great treatment, and he put it all together. We were we did it one 
day. Yeah, it was in all February. one shoot. Yeah, yeah. Um, we had a bunch of. Uh, we had a really good friend, a very good friend, uh, rent out his house for us. Yeah. <laughs> Which you know, bringing cool. in all of our gear and and having like good thirty people in there with the. Yeah. Uh, uh, doing, food and drinks. Doing and keg stands. And, <laughs> you know, so it's like, it's like, we'll take care of the house. Thanks. <laughs> what was so great, like the idea they came up with is this John Cusack rom comedy right. thing. <laughs> and so, like, that's, you had, had to be at a house party. That's like, true. there's no other way you can pull had that to be off. That that's what the quintessential scene in all of those movies is the, the main characters mm. show up at the same house party and they secretly don't know that they're into each other. Like, that's, <laughs> that's every one of those movies. So, like, it, 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 it played out great. And it was it, everybody was so cool, and, and we all had a great time. It was kind of like we were at a party. It did not yeah. feel like a shoot. I mean, it was you know we worked, we played through the tune. Uh, oh God, like fifteen yeah, times, twenty times. I definitely sang that song twenty times. Yeah. <laughs> we're not. It, we, we, were, we weren't faking it. Like we were for reals playing it. Um, I mean, even though we're you know synced to the video from the the audio from the record, we still played through it every time. Right. Um, and I felt bad for our um, our makeup artist because <laughs> I just sweat when I play because I'm, I'm a gigantic human and I'm not. <laughs> I don't just stand still. And so after every single time, like even if we did like half a take, she'd come up and she'd be like, you know, wipe all the sweat off my face. And I was like, you're doing such a great job. Also, there's a, there's great little shots that I don't know if anybody really notices, but everybody's got these neon green earplugs in because they were right in front of us and we were just banging the crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So anybody who thinks that it's all lip singing, right. lip singing. <laughs> it is, but it, it, we're, we were still playing. So yeah. it was fun. It's a responsible house party. Everybody's got their ear protection in. That's, That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> designated drivers and earplugs. Let's go. <laughs> Which is how I would party, but that just shows how old I am. <laughs> that, that sounds like a rad party. Yeah. You know? That's great. <laughs> Nobody gets tinnitus or thrown in jail. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody gets home safe. That's I think that's all parents are asking for. That's right, man. All right, cool, cool. So for rock, rock metal nation who dug the tracks "Black Eye" and "No More Sex" and the music video for "No More Sex," we'll be excited to know that there are a couple more tracks on a full EP called "Black Eye," which is set to release September twenty fifth. And so, guys, if you wouldn't mind taking us through when we pick up the EP, what should we expect from the rest of the? tracks um just high energy very melodic you know I, I think the the first song is like a two minute just go for the throat yeah. <laughs> kind of almost punk pop tune really yeah. fast and then the uh, the last song is a um has our our, our thin lizzy uh, harmonized guitar solo. Yeah, it so, does. So. <laughs> All right. Well, the next logical question on Rock Metal Nation's mind is, how can we find out more about you and stay in touch? Is there a place that we should go to on the web? Uh, classifiedfrequency.com is our official website. Um, you can find pretty much everything there. You can even stream the, the other EPs we have. You can see the videos. Um, and then we're on Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. Cool. All right. Well, Matt and Matt, unless there's anything else we wanted to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come on to the Rock Metal Podcast and sharing classified frequency with Rock Metal Nation. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Metal Nation. Hopefully, you just found your new favorite band in classified frequency. A big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation. Bye.